Tours. Inspire. The South Tyrolean Dolomites are recognisable by their glaciers and steep rock faces. These rugged surroundings are the playground of Reinhold Mesner, the best mountaineer and explorer the world has ever known. Mesner is a true legend, famous for his groundbreaking ways of climbing. Oh, shit. Although everyone told him it couldn't be done, he was the first man to climb Mount Everest without extra oxygen, and he was the first climber to successfully ascend all 14 peaks above 8,000 meters. See, I told you, Suzanne, rock climbing isn't as easy as it looks. Now imagine what 8,000 meters will do to you. Mesner is so passionate about rock climbing that he's even founded his own museum, the Mesner Mountain Museum. Where does this passion for climbing come from? After the Second World War, when I was brought up um, in the Valley of the Dolomites, we had no soccer place, we had no swimming pool, and so we went to climb on the rocks. I was five when I climbed the first time at 3,000 meter peak. And from then onwards, I climbed higher and more difficult. And so on the end, I ended on Everest and I went on with uh, adventuring, going to the North Pole, to the South Pole, crossing Greenland, crossing the Gobi Desert. If the whole world is saying nobody can climb Everest without oxygen, I went and tried it. And it was possible. It was not either so difficult. Everything is possible if somebody behind is following the goal with passion. Mesner has also had his setbacks. After a daring climb with his brother in the Himalayas, sadly, Reinhold was the only one to return. Your style, the Alpine style, why is that better or different than the usual way of climbing? I'm using my style, and I invented the Alpine style for the fact I had not the money to pay for big Himalayan expeditions. You have to know that in the 70s, a classical Himalayan expedition to an 8,000 meter peak had a cost of half a million of euros. I had not so much money, so I invented a different style. And the cost of my first own 8,000 meter peak was 10,000 euro and not 500,000. Very simple. I was free to fail, so I could uh, accept more difficult challenges. Adventuring has to do with difficulties you have to overcome, with danger which is there because mountains and Antarctica they are always danger and you have to know about this danger and the most important thing is the exposure. It means to be out of the civil war. If today I would buy a passage on Mount Everest, you can buy it today. You can go on Mount Everest in the long holidays and you pay $50,000 and they bring you up, more or less. They prepare an infrastructure from the base to the summit, the Sherpas, hundreds of them. And so this is becoming tourism, but I'm not a tourist. The art of adventuring is only to survive. It's the only art. So what is your next challenge? I would like to tell about adventuring, about climbing, using the fiction movie. Maybe in three, four years you'll see my first own film.